Question number 7. Figure 5 shows two coherent sources of sound, A and B, in phase. O is a point equidistance from A and B. So we have our A, the source of sound, and B here. O is at the center or midpoint. Uh, then uh, on the other side we have three points. We have M, we have Q, and we have N. Uh, an observer moves from M to M to N through Q. So an observer moves from M through Q to N. Explain what what is observed at point Q. So this is a point Q. We are you are supposed to explain what what is observed. So when the observer moves from uh, M to Q, uh, he or she will observe. Uh, alternate uh, round uh, will experience uh, alternate round uh, or what we call constructive interference and also soft or what we call destructive interference sound. So when he gets to Q, uh, he ob the observer will experience a round sound which is uh, we also call constructive interference because this is the locus of point equidistance from the two sources hence the, the path difference so the expected answer is uh, you say at Q uh, the observer will experience The observer will experience around around sound around sound uh, which we also refer to as a constructive constructive interference Because this is the locus, because this is the locus, this is the locus uh, of points equidistance equi equidistance. Equidistance not equal equi equidistance from the two sources. Hence the path difference. the part the difference so that is what is expected that is the answer that expected uh, but uh, maybe to explain more for further understanding we have constructive interference this is when two waves of identical wavelength are in phase they form a new wave with an amplitude equal to the sum of their individual amplitude uh, and we can see that uh, we can see that uh, so this is a diagram explaining what is constructive interference so these are two waves uh, of uh, identical wavelength so th where they combine and form one wave uh, which uh, whose uh, amplitude is the sum of the two uh, so this is what we call constructive interference uh, the other one is uh, we call it uh, destructive interference uh, it takes place when two waves come together in such a manner that they completely cancel each other out 
uh, so that is uh, we can also use uh, see a diagram of that so this this is what we call so the two waves cancel each other and they for they, they they form a straight uh, a straight uh, wave there is no 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 wave now and this is what we are talking about uh, at the Q the two wa sound waves will combine and uh, form a, a single sound that is why the observer the observer will experience uh, around sound so this is what we call destructive destructive interference which is the one that I've explained here so that is how but you don't need to show this that is just to uh, make you understand better why the, this is the expected answer